One, two, three, four. In the sleeping hills of western New York, where the winters can be brutal and the roads can be treacherous, live some of the most remarkable people in the world. Each week, we'll showcase one of these incredible characters, right here on Outstanding Artists and Human Beings of Allegheny County. Our first truly extraordinary human being is Tom Prisicilli of Omen, New York. His artistic works could be in the world's finest museums or in the hands of the world's most renowned musicians. He is a sculptor, a luthier, a musician, and an all-around great guy. Tom, thank you so much for having us here. Well, I'm glad you made it. Tell me, how did you get started doing all of this? Ever since I was a little boy, I made things. A little kid. Um, by the time I was six years old, or 12 years old, I had scars all over my left hand from carving and sawing and all that kind of stuff. And the reason I got into woodworking so young is my grandfather, who lived down the street from me, him and I were like that. We, we were best friends. And um, he must have seen something in me because he got me all these real, they were called gentlemen's hand tools from the 1800s, and they were like little miniature real tools. That's really cool. And he supplied me with wood, and I went, just started right out there making things. All my buddies would come around, we'd go down in my cellar and we'd make stuff. We'd make model boats, we'd make tons and tons of blocks, and we'd melt lead and make lead soldiers. That was back when lead was still good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had every kid on my block equipped at one time with swords and shields that I copied from the Prince Valiant funny papers. There was whole armies of guys attacking and all the old ladies were having heart attacks looking out <laughs> their windows at us. And when I got out of the service, I continued on. I went to work for the railroad and I had my shop here in this house and mm -hmm. made all the furniture in the house. Mm. All my relatives, are, their whole houses are full of furniture. My goddaughter has a whole house full of, she has everything I ever made her. Wow. I made her a dollhouse one time and it was her house that she lived in when she was 10 years old. I had a picture of her on the wall that was her high school picture at the time and all the furniture was duplicate of the furniture in their house. And she still has that, everything. To me, there are, just a few great, great pleasures in the world. And one of them is being creative. Can you talk to me about this amazing sculpture that is behind you? Well, this here um, was just going to be a Morgan, a workhorse, and it was started out square. Then it didn't look right square. I had to make it round, mm. and I entered it in the biggest wood carving competition in the Northeast, and it won best of show. Kind of wood 
wood on each side of each instrument. Um, and this seems like a really exotic wood. What is this? It's curly sugar maple. Curly sugar, okay. From is the it, firewood pile. So it's a local wood? Yeah, it grows around here. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen it before. It's, it's what they cool. make maple syrup out of. A lot of people are burning all this beautiful wood up and don't even realize what they're doing. Yeah. I, is... I save it from the fire if I can. And I also noticed that um, a lot of the inlays on your headstock um, mm -hmm. you use a lot of wolves and ladies. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen this one before. Can you tell me some, a little something about this one? Yeah, this is the original one built by Orville Gibson back in the uh, 1880s or 90s, I believe it was. This is one of the first ones he built. He designed these, and he that was his inlay. And I just copied it. It's amazing. Thank you. I've had so much fun talking with you today and seeing your work. I was wondering if we could sing a song together. I'd really love to. Cool. Sounds good. Sure. Thank you, Tom, so much for welcoming us into your studio and your home and showing us all of your truly incredible work. Boy, thank you for the compliment, and it was my pleasure. <laughs> and thank you for joining us on Outstanding Artists and Human Beings of Allegheny County. We'll see you next time. I've been working on the